Hello, hello, hello. Good night, everyone. Welcome to our weeknight with Chichi pop up show. I have a feeling tonight is going to be a very, very good night. You know, you can feel the energy already. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. I can feel the energy. I'm excited to be here. Are you all excited to be here? Tonight, we're just going to chit chat about skincare, how to actually stick to that skincare routine. And, you know, stick to it and make it be successful, make it be worthwhile for you. However, it is a pop up show, so we are going to chat. And the question we're going to ask tonight is all about your personal skincare. What is it that you are doing and how you're taking care of your skin overall? So that's what we're going to be doing tonight while taking some questions. We're also going to have some members of the channel on the panel tonight, which is what I am most looking forward to. I like to chit chat with the members and, and I also like when you guys chime in and we all chit chat for an hour and have fun while taking care of ourselves. Bonita Collins, welcome to our live chat. Um, Skeeter Williams, welcome to the live chat. Who else is here that I'm seeing you? Shane, Maha. Well, I'm just going to leave it at Shane. Welcome to the live chat. And Jason, I know you're at work, so welcome. We also have the regular. We have Jill. We have Keisha. We have Makeup Forever. We have Lioness TV. We have um, Karen Madisel. We have Jackie Mom. I think I said Margaret Lockett. We have Auntie. Hello, KBOR. You hope all is well. And yes, all is well. And I just noticed that Jawa just joined. And who else is here? We have someone new. Um, Rayvon. I think you're here before. Rayvon Murray. Or I'm just familiar with the name. We also have Rhonda. Wow. How um now wash it off. The potato mask is wonderful. Okay, so you were saying earlier before the chat start that you're gonna be doing the potato mask while you watch the show. So now you're about to go and wash it up. Hesse, how are you? Hesse Maris Terence Terence is here also. So if you're new to our live chat, what we do, we tend to chit chat a little. This is a skincare challenge channel, however, it's okay to talk about other things, other part of you know. Your, you know what I mean how to basically take care of yourself on a whole so skincare routine is what we are aiming at today now I'm just waiting for a few more people to get on the chat and for the newbies I'm gonna go through the seven step of skincare routine just what you need to do to you know to have your skin looking good and the seven simple step that you need to follow now for normal, it would be seven step, and I think for me, I probably have a little bit more than seven. And don't be alarmed; you might be like more than seven step for this. No, yeah, but simple things that we do, it's really a step. Like massage is not a part of the seven since skincare is, um, step, but for us, especially on our channel, we tend to do the massage and steaming. It's not a part of the seven and on this channel we tend to steam our face and that is how i came up with around about nine to ten skincare step that we do we just do not do it every night okay and that is the the key now we have um hi shot lady see i haven't seen you for a while welcome 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 we have um lynn hathill i drink plenty of water hi joy that jar lair welcome to the chat patricia gilmore i love your products please give me more mask and you know the funny thing about the channel page um i used to think that mask is the number one remedy that most of you like however i found that when i do serums and i do oils I, and moisturizer also i find that you guys are more into it maybe you guys have such a wide variety of facial masks that you're now looking for like serums and and i could tell by the videos like serums and moisturizer and oil blend those are the three popular um remedies on the channel now they tend to go like up red when the post people watch and so on and so forth but I also noticed that a lot of people like the older videos when it comes on to the facial mask. I think um, 
this, they were simpler. I'm, I'm really, you know, agreeing that they are simpler remedies and they are really, really effective remedies. I used to use more raw material than I do use now. So maybe we need to go back to using more raw. So um, this week we have a lineup of remedies that we're going to share. We're definitely going to bring the, um, the, the blue pea, um, the butterfly pea toner. I'm, I promise and aloe vera three in one where you use a aloe vera to, to, to cleanse, you use it, um, to exfoliate and you also use it as a leave on. We're going to bring that video this week. We are also going to bring the hibiscus and it's going to be in the form of a moisturizer. So look out for that. And, um, I think I have another thing in line with the aloe vera. And I think tomorrow video, we are going to be using, um, avocado so that should be fun so i actually love that the video we're going to be posting tomorrow so look out for that so nice lineup coming this week to support the channel you watch the videos and you know just leave a little comment that is how you support us now tonight we're going to do skincare routine we have guests on right now i can see jawa margaret claudia and jill um that is on and um I think we have two more people who have the link who want to be on. So we'll see how that goes. Now, Virginia Arden, I, wa I want you constantly and I use a lot. I watch, that's a typo. Mm -hmm. I watch you constantly and I use a lot of your recipe and they work. Thank you. Greeting from San Antonio, Texas. And thank you for watching and thank you for coming on and, you know, just sharing that with us. All right. So, um, who else is here? And we have, um, let's see who else is here that is new i like to take the newbies question before we dive in shalapi welcome and essie i tried the clay mask yesterday tell us about it hi erica bailey welcome to our live chat and patricia um gilmore welcome to the live chat i love your product please give me more mask okay yes all right so let's go through erica you have a really nice picture right there i like that hairstyle like yeah, I like that in that short cut in the back. I used to wear my hair like that, but not curly, like straight, like just like the same style and the back flop. <laughs> you know, I know people know that style and, and it do um give your face a nice um appearance. Very, very nice picture. All right, so we are moving on and Diana Johnson is here. Now let's just go really, really quick through the seven step for a successful skincare routine. The very first step, and we're doing this for our new followers, the very first step is definitely to cleanse the skin. Cleansing meaning that you're washing your face and you're doing that twice per week. This Twice per week? <laughs> I got distracted, you know, because I was just looking at the panel because, you know, guys, I could see you all day, can't see you. So that's what, you know, got me distracted. So I was just staring at everybody. And all right. So you definitely need to cleanse your face twice per day. After cleansing, you pat dry the skin and you apply your facial toner. Once you apply your facial toner, then you're going to use a facial syrup. After the serum, then you're going to apply your eye treatment. That is a little, you know, you can choose to apply your eye treatment before, right after the toner, and then the serum. It's up to you, or you can apply the serum, and then you apply the eye treatment. I like to apply it right after the toner because I just want whatever treatment I'm using on my eyes to be right on my eyes before I apply anything else. But to each his own, you can choose, but definitely use a treatment for your eyes. And then you're gonna spot a treat. And spot treat is just applying uh, whatever cream or you know remedy that you have for dark spots and blemishes that you just wanna pinpoint a special area on your face to put it. And then you do that and then you moisturize. After you moisturize your face. Now, when it comes on to moisturizer, depend on what you want you can also use an anti-aging moisturizer or a form of a retinol it's up to you but moisturizer fall right in that grouping 
And if you want to use a paste oil on top of that, or you want to use a paste oil in your moisturizer, it's up to you. And for me, I'm adding the massage, you massage your face, and that complete your seven basic skincare routine. What we're going to do, however, to dive, we're going to dive deeper into it. And we're going to talk about, you know, nighttime skincare routine versus daytime skincare routine. So we have our panel on tonight and they're also going to share their skincare routine with us. So hi, Jean Jen, welcome to the live. Teresa, welcome. And uh, let's see if we're all ready. Iacint is watching from Trinidad and Tobago. And um, what about you shrinking the flabby arms? And we can talk about that. And we are, okay, so uh, very soon we're going to have a live segment on our channel page where we're going to talk about like weight loss and, uh, you know, tightening and firming the skin, not only the face, but your, you know, your stomach, your lifting the glutes and all of that stuff. So that is something that we have on the drawing board to bring to you in a form of a live and a few videos here and there. We already have someone in mind who is going to be like a co-host guest to our weight loss and tightening and firming skin, you know, live. So we'll talk about that more, you know, in the coming weeks. Now, for those of you who are here, our Zoom start on the 29th. October 29 is going to be our first Zoom get together. It's not too late. I think right now we have about 56 or so that already sign up to be on the zoom if you want to be a part of a zoom just send us your information gmail.com chichi beauty because that's the only way you're going to get the link to be on we want to start out banging with about a hundred which is what uh, we think is the right amount to start with and then if it grew bigger then you know we move on from there so we're still looking for a few more people to be on However, regardless of what, we're starting on October 29th. For those of you who sent to be a part of the Zoom, you will get your notification in an email to let you know the date and time and all of that good stuff that is going to be on. All right. So with that panel, do you want to come on? What are you doing, Claudia? Fixing that brow. I see Jawa there ready and Margaret is ready. And we have um, Jill who is on. And that's going to come up on the Think Fungus. All right, guys. So let me just introduce you to the panel and not keep them waiting. What we want you all to do tonight is just share a little bit of your skincare routine with us, especially for our new folks joining. Are going to talk about anything on Zoom. All right. So we actually sent out, let me talk about this really quick. We actually just asked people to, you know, send information, send, you know, some ideas to us, like, you know, stuff that we can do on Zoom. And we got some really, really, really good ones. And I got a really, really good set from Margaret, like almost everything that all the topics we're going to deal with we love those and that is basically what the zoom is going to be about not only about the skin we want to talk dive into and that's why we're taking it over there we want to dive into your personal business <laughs> Yes, that's why we're going over there. We're going to talk about woman stuff, woman issues, male and female too, you know, divorce, marriage, you know, those kind of a topic that we're going over there to talk about and you all could chime in, okay? So nothing out of the norm, you know, just certain kind of issues, hormones and stuff like that. That's what we're going to talk about, um, you know. Yeah, so I, I hope you all get the gist of what we are going to do it, what we are going to be doing over there, right? So if you are all interested, and everyone is welcome for now, and you all can contribute, you all could say things, you know, we just talk and share experience and life journey. That is what we want, experience, life journey, and tips and how to get over certain hurdles that we have in our life, you know? You know, a lot of us sometimes, we are going through things in our life that we can't, we don't have anybody to talk to. 
it's going to be a platform where you can just let it all out and not be judged okay so that is what we're going to do and i'm so excited i can't wait i i've been trying to have something like this for a long time trying to get us to really have a day to ourselves or an hour to ourselves where we can express ourselves and feel free to share things and even share things that we might not necessarily share with others around us but just have a group of us where you know and everything that we do talk about on this zoom is going to be our own personal little group chat it's not going to be here in you well you get the gist you get the gist all right all right so that is what our zoom is going to be about so think about it before you send your things over and also think about what is it that you will would like to share and if you have more topics and stuff along that kind of a line that you want you know just send it over and we will see you know how to put it together um 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 angela daniel what is a toner for the benefits of a toner and we got to answer this but just before i answer you um angela let us bring the panel up guys are you ready you all ready to share your skincare routine let me see the thumbs up okay so we have two people that um were supposed to join and they didn't join so they're probably struggling to get in i don't know but we'll see f 417 h welcome to our live welcome and we have um brooklyn new york steam face before or after what okay sometimes so i know i couldn't be a a, a teacher <laughs> when i was growing up right i wanted to be a teacher to begin but you know most little girls want to be a teacher 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 but i wouldn't i don't know if i could make a good teacher <laughs> because I am from the old school days where when you go to school, you got to do what the teacher tells you to do. And um, yeah, I'm from the Harrow where the teacher could actually spank you, believe it or not. And everyone around you in the community could scold you if they see you doing something wrong. Yeah. You better be, if they like stop and it's not your mama, you're not your papa, you still have to listen. That is where I am from. So I'm thinking that sometimes when some of my subscribers that has been around for a while ask some questions that I know they should know the answer, I want to take my strap out. <laughs> no, 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 it's the truth. Sometimes I want to take my strap out, be like, didn't you watch all the 25 Days Skincare Challenge? What were you doing, right? So I'm actually throwing words on um, Brooklyn, New York. Now, um, question, steam before or after what? Maybe I got it wrong. So you're gonna steam before you exfoliate. <laughs> and I know, I know, come back at me with this. You're gonna steam before you exfoliate, okay? So you steam first and then you exfoliate however you can also choose to exfoliate while you're steaming you choose what you want to do i like to steam first because when i steam first it opens the pores and it helps to get rid of the grease and dirt out of the pores when i start to exfoliate okay so definitely choose what you want to do first all right guys so let me go back she asked and i don't know what she's talking about oh okay got you got you got you that's what happened you know when you come to class late <laughs> anyway i'm in a good mood tonight and i know who i can pick at on my live chat so that's why i pick on her tonight all right so the panel is here and they're gonna share their and don't forget guys if you're just joining and you didn't give us a thumbs up give us a thumbs up that is how you support the channel and the thumbs up is right below the video that you watch is in white i think you give it a thumbs up there's thumbs down too yes yeah, sometimes you can thumbs down if you don't agree with something that i'm saying but that button is not to use like you can't thumbs it up three four times so if you don't agree with something that i'm saying it's best for you to put it in the comment section okay all right or correct me on something or share something that you think i might have missed 
so toner awesome okay so deborah is answering the toner question for me thank you so much for that toner also make your makeup products work better on your skin thank you for that all right so let's get ready who want to go first let me see the thumb hop uh, my panel we want to go all right claudia you want to go so my panel we have um we have jill we have claudia we have margaret we have jawa and we also have cecilia and they're going to share with us um their skincare routine so let's bring on claudia to the screen are you ready claudia where's the kitty cat <laughs> all right let's go <laughs> good night good night good night how oh, are you doing good night how are you i am here i'm just happy to be here tonight you can tell. just happy to be here so excited i just finished watching vlogmas today uh, oh yeah yep yes i just started the second one Okay. I'm telling you, this is like watching, um, and don't take this the wrong way, it's like watching a soap opera. What's going to happen tomorrow? Tune in to find out. <laughs> oh, and it just keeps me motivated, right? When I'm, I get home and I'm like, oh, I got to wash my face. I got to do this. I just turn on the vlogmas and I just listen to you. And I'm like, no, nope, let's go. Come on. We're going to go steam our face. We're going to get this done. We can do this. Yep. Day 35 today. Day 35. Day 35 of the 25 day skincare challenge. I'm keeping track. Hello, everybody, and um, hello to all the subscribers. Good to see you again. Hello to the panel. Good to see you again very soon. Um, my skincare routine. Do you want to see the products or you just want me to talk about them? You can show us. You can show us. Um, I'm going to keep the brands away. But, um, of course, uh, my, I already had a skincare routine for those of you who are new to, um, the, uh, to Chi Chi Beauty. Welcome. Welcome. You are in the right place at the right time. Trust me. Um, our motto here, do we have a motto? Do this, do it for you. Do this for you. That's our motto here. Do this for you because you do a whole bunch of things for everybody else. So my skincare routine starts off with a cleanser. Um, morning and night, mm -hmm. um, always in circular motion, right? We, we want to be nice to our skin. And, um, then I, uh, I use a, I use Chi Chi's, um, uh, star anise toner. That's my next step, my star anise toner. And I'm making it now with black rice. Oh, wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Took, um, uh, made it with black rice and it, it, it's actually, yeah, I like it a lot. Love it a lot. If you have not made this star anise toner, what are you waiting for? My favorite to always have. That's one of my favorites. It works. <laughs> you have to bottle that now. Um, I just finished Chi Chi's. Um, my next step is serum. And I just finished, just yesterday, finished. Um, you were just talking about it. What's the name of this fruit? I have a freezer full of it. Papaya. Papaya. <laughs> just finished. Just finished my papaya serum. Um, that's my next step. So I have to make more tonight in order to um, get through the rest of the week or month. I try and use my papaya serum for about 10, 12 days, and then I start to use it all over my body because <laughs> it makes so it makes so much that I'm I, I'm I'm afraid for it to to turn on me before it's yeah. absorbed into the body. Yeah. So the first you know seven days is my face, and then from day eight to day twelve is my whole body. If you have not made the papaya serum, Definitely. what are you waiting for? That is the truth. Oh my gosh, that serum! That serum! Thank goodness I got a freezer full of papaya. <laughs> I'm still using the coffee vitamin C or um uh, vitamin C powder mask. I'm mm -hmm. um, not mask eye treatment. Mm -hmm. How do my eyes look? Good. Anybody? Yeah. Please. Yeah. They look. They look more awake. Mm -hmm. They look. My face seems to look, or at least around my eyes, seems to look fuller. They don't look so sunken in like you're like you're looking into an abyss, yeah. a yeah. black two black holes. They look fuller. 
Um, that's one of my eye treatments. The second eye treatment is uh, one of Chi Chi's as well. This one is probably coming to a close. I've had it for more than a week now. And it's um, green tea. I've used butterfly pea in here, but you could also use chamomile um, and a few other things. And they're pads that you put over your eyes for 30 minutes. Yes. Yes. This is the holy grail. Once again, what are you waiting for? Good. What are you waiting for? Um, during the day, I use a moisturizer that has an SPF. Um, that is something that's very natural here in North America. All of our moisturizers come with SPF along with some of our makeups. Mm -hmm. um, at night, I use an oil blend that's been made by Chi Chi. So I do use a lot of her products um, in conjunction with my own products, which I'm trying to move away from and move more natural. The products I use are vegan already, but I'd like to move away from that and give credit to where credit is due, which is to Chi Chi. She has transformed my face. This, this form has transformed me. So much love, much love. Thank you so you know? much. Thank you so much. And thank you for being here. We're going to take you off and we're going to bring you back. If you have any questions for Claudia, guys, go ahead and comment. Thank you, Faith. You if you have any question, go ahead and comment right now. And my comment is not moving. Don't know if it's stuck. I'm stuck at 728. Okay, so I'm at the right place. If you have a question, go ahead. Um, well, you know, the... the um, compliments are coming in oh holy thank you so much thanks margaret thank you to everybody yes um <laughs> I, I didn't get this beautiful overnight this is chichi beauty right i was using my skincare products and using them and using them and using them and going nowhere this face that you see here is the 25 day skincare routine challenge face this is the face all right, this we have is the face. For you from Angela. Oh, um, goodness, a lot. Um, anytime I'm listening to Chi Chi, whether it's live now or on Sunday chit chat, I'm steaming my face. So at least, at least three to four times a week, I steam. Yeah, steaming is so quick and easy. Yes, that's true. And, true. and I don't own a steamer. I'm literally putting the pot on, wait for it to bubble. I take it off the stove, put the lid on, get my towel, I hover over, mm -hmm. I set a timer for, um, I steam for four minutes, you might steam less than that, and I worked my way up to four minutes, I probably won't go past four, but I steam four times a week for sure, for sure, love to steam, love to steam. All right, we have a question, you choose whether you want to answer this one, yes or no, oh. you already know. <laughs> Oh, we're <laughs> I am. I just turned. How old are you? You look so young. Oh, you're so kind. I'm a senior citizen. I'm 52. I'm a senior. I'm three years away from being a senior here in Canada. 55 is a senior citizen. I'm 52. Oh, goodness. All right. So, um, someone wants to know how to make the. Um, what are the ingredients in your eye treatment? Um, I will post this. I um, I'll post both links yeah. in the comments mm -hmm. when we're done this live tonight. I'll put them in the comments once the video posts. Mm -hmm. I'll put I'll put both links in the comments. You cannot go wrong here, folks. For those of you who are new here, welcome. You are in the right place. I cannot begin to tell you. So Deborah want to know if great steaming three to four times a week my face broke out will steaming help? Let me answer. You want to answer? Go ahead and answer, Claudia. Well, let me see if I get the right answer, and then the teacher will fill me in if if or she'll whip out the strap, one or the other. <laughs> um, steaming will help your face. Um, it will help to clear out your pores. Um, because that's usually where all the grease, oil, and dirt are trapped in, and that's why you're having those breakouts. Um, so be sure that your um, definitely steaming will help. It will help to clear that up. But once you're done steaming, it is best to exfoliate. 
We want to not only open and lift that dirt to the surface, we want to clean those pores out and then as best as possible, rinse with a cool water so you can help to close those pores again. And it's gonna take time for those pores to completely get cleaned and shrink. This is not an overnight um, a, a event. This didn't happen overnight. It's not going to. It's not going to be cured overnight. That's something you got to keep in mind. You want to add something to that? That is perfect. I don't have okay. to. Add anything else. <laughs> okay. That was a great. However, before you go, I gotta let you read this comment, and then we're gonna go to Margaret. <laughs> Make sure you claim your seniors discount. Some grocery stores give <laughs> I couldn't let that one pass. <laughs> you better be believing that. Trust me. And I'm not, not. I might not be carded to buy alcohol anymore, but I am carded as a senior. Yeah, they want to know. Okay. Okay. All right. You, um, Claudia, uh, Margaret, are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready, Margaret? Okay, good. We're bringing on Margaret. Good night. Good Hi. night. Margaret. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, we're hearing you. Hi. Hello. Okay. I um. I can I say what I find is um my face is becoming more sensitive. Mm -hmm. I um. Do you know fingertips wash towels? Hello. Repeat. You know the you know the wash towels that um I don't I can't wash it. You know the towels like the waiters use. The, the waiters, waiters. Waiters. Yes. 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 I I was introduced to some of those and I find they are much softer on my 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 body. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm using now. Mm -hmm. So after I cleanse, I tone my mm -hmm. toner. Mm -hmm. That's a nice box. Thank you. Dollar Tree, Dollar Wise, I think you all call it. <laughs> Not advertising. <laughs> Dollar Wise. Uh -huh. What I have is um rose water and I add a little bit of aloe. Mm -hmm. Fresh aloe or store bought? Store bought. Okay, okay. If I did the fresh, I would have to keep it in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I bought the store bought. This is my um My under eye treatment, the coffee. Mm -hmm. I see you love that one. Yes, I do. I realize that you're always using <laughs> that. This is my serum and moisturizer that I have. Um, rose water, a little bit of turmeric, and aloe. All right, that's a good blend. This is my mixture. That's good for dark circles too. Yes, and this is my um that spot because I find I got a little zip. Here, I don't know why it's there, why is it coming where? Who called it? I don't know, but it has to go. So this is um petroleum jelly. I don't know why I decided to try your um the petroleum jelly with um turmeric. Mm -hmm. I use I'm using it for the dark spots. Okay. And is it working? It's working but slowly. Yeah, it's gonna be slow, yeah. It's working, but it's very, very slow. And I also must say I I am the mixture you did for not the one you posted recently for hyperpigmentation, the one you did with the potato and baking soda. Uh huh. I am using that, and I found I'm using it here, and it's actually actually clearing it up yeah. very well. The potato is is something else. Yeah, but I'm not really a big fan of baking soda because I find it kind of hard. It's very harsh on my face, so I'm trying to find a remedy to replace the baking soda. But I haven't found anything else to replace the baking soda, but it is working. Let me ask you a question. I do not have dry basil or fresh basil. Mm -hmm. But I remember you had said that um, pepper leaves, sweet pepper mm -hmm. leaves also can work. Can I mix that with the potato? Or yeah. can I use... Can, but can I also use the actual sweet pepper? Not the pepper. Or just the leaves? Not the pepper, just the leaves. Just so the I can leaves. mix the leaves with the potato. Yes. 
and that is gonna help with the zit okay it's gonna help with the zit also but definitely you could use it for, because you do have the antibacterial properties in it okay so, you so i will i will try i'm trying to do a little kitchen garden and then i realize i have some sweet pepper so i will try i will take a couple leaves you use the leaves and also you can actually blend the leaves like how mm -hmm. you're breaking out with a little zits you mm -hmm. can actually blend the leaves um had a little um maybe a little castor oil and a little or something any uh, coconut oil doesn't matter blend it and just use it over your face and you can leave it on for a you know about 30 minutes or if you just want to use it where you have all that zit and it's okay. all you have to, to dry it out oh okay or if you want to do overnight like that one that you have right there you're talking about you want yeah, to do right here. you get a band-aid mm -hmm. and you just put it on and put it over it it dry up the zit like really really fast okay you know i must admit i was never a fan of coconut oil mm -hmm. never but i find since you say it helps with the um Locking the, the moisture skin, yeah faster i, I really it does work but generally telling me tea tree oil but if i find tea tree oil burns my skin it needs to be diluted doesn't matter it will burn my skin it will burn. okay so yeah. it's probably very strong for your skin but yeah on the amount are you trying the tea tree oil in the petroleum jelly no that could also help or with the coconut oil but okay. just one drop i'll try that okay one drop thank you okay what else you're doing what about steaming steaming twice a week but um i usually go between three to five minutes depends on how i think my face needs it um what else Overnight mass. Mm -hmm. I'm only doing it according to the the, the schedule. And mm -hmm. um, I think that is it. I, nothing special. Oh, the massage. I do the constant massaging. Mm -hmm. And this this works. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one because it's not. It's easy if I'm sitting down doing nothing, watching television. I can just mm -hmm. you know. And then I see these two plump things. All right. <laughs> I, I like when you guys talk about that because sometimes yeah. I'm on here like talking, talking, and people might be like, oh, it ain't gonna work. It works. It's just that you gotta do it all the time, you know? All the time. It becomes second nature once you know exactly what to do. You could be just watching TV and doing it, and you just get it in. All right. Thank you, Margaret. Anything else? If you have a question for Margaret, guys go ahead and comment and um you could tell when key come on the live late <laughs> go ahead and comment or if you want to ask um margaret something go ahead and ask right now and deborah want to know what leave we're talking about pepper leave and someone is talking about the tea tree oil also that you need to dilute it i think i put that on and key want to know about kamu kamu we talk about it um before but we'll bring it um around um and not um soon and we have f uh, same faith you look great thank you so much um for commenting check your email okay all right so pepperly all right guys so thank you margaret we're gonna bring you okay. back on so um on in there all right so remember if you have a question for margaret go ahead and ask and if you're just joining well, this is a pop-up show. We're talking about skincare, how to make your skincare routine be successful, and tips, you know, to get your skincare routine going. And if you know nothing about skincare routine, we also share the seven steps that you can take to make sure, you know, your face look right. And also, um, what else we spoke about? We talk about cleansing, toning, serum, eye cream. Any question you have, go ahead and ask. And later on, I'm going to talk about the difference between the morning skincare routine and your nighttime skincare routine. All right, so we are ready now for um, Jawa. Are you ready? All right, so now we are going to, Shireen, better late than never. And Erica is saying, oh, good, Margaret is looking. And I know Margaret is going to go and read the comments. Now, um, okay, all right, so we are bringing on Jawa. Just was reading my little private, um, 
chat. You know, some people like to private chat me, get me distracted sometimes. But yeah. All right. So we are moving on and we're going to bring in Jawa and she's going to share our skincare routine with us. So we are ready, Jawa. And here we go. Good Hi, morning. everybody. Hi. Hello, hello. hello. We've been apart for so long. Well, I haven't been here. I know you all have been on because every now and again, I'll turn on YouTube. I'm a YouTube watcher and I'll see that Chi Chi has been on there talking to people. So I know <laughs> people have been in the chat and listening. You've been doing lives. So I'm happy to be back. And um, yeah. Okay. So, you know, I want to tell you my skincare routine, but, but I have some burning questions. <laughs> Let's so, one is I have a serum that I was using. This is a it's flaxseed and flaxseed gel mm -hmm. and the, the matcha green tea combination. Mm -hmm. Well, because of the education that I had gotten on Chi Chi Beauty, mm -hmm. I got a little innovative with it. Got a little <laughs> innovative. Okay. And I do fresh squeezed orange juice pretty regularly. And one day I came across an orange that was black on the inside. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to use that orange to drink. So I figured cut the black out and use the good parts mm -hmm. and add it to my serum because it has vitamin C. Was that a good idea? That's not bad at all. But if it's not good to use on your face, if it's not good to eat, it's not good to use on your face. Okay. That brings me to my next issue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so my skin was doing good, baby. I was fabulous. Yes, I was. I was like, I was on the Chi Chi Beauty Skincare Challenge. A sister worked it Worked it out. <laughs> so I was happy. I was happy. Yeah. My skin looked good. Better than it had looked in a long time. I used to have acne real bad. And because of that, um, I had acne scars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and they, 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 you know, had cleared up a lot. They're a lot lighter. So when you were talking about doing the spot treatment, I was like, eh, I mean, they're really light. My makeup will cover them up. Mm -hmm. But um, I started, I got creative. Mm -hmm. I used to use, now I can talk a little bit about my skincare routine because, so here's my, uh, of course I have everything in uh, bottles, but um, this, this um, scrub is, this is rice powder with a little, can you see it? Where is it? Okay. It's rice powder, powder with a little activated charcoal in it. Mm -hmm. That's one that I use to, as a scrub. The other thing I was using is I would just get a wash. So I would use that in the evening. Mm -hmm. And in the morning, um, I would use, this is just aloe vera. Mm -hmm. So I would just get that with a washcloth and exfoliate like that. Um, but I, and, and sometimes I would also use the aloe vera as a toner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this is where the shit went wrong, apparently, <laughs> because you had said, Miss Chi Chi, that we could use rose water. Where's the label? There it is right there. We could use rose water as a toner. Well, I love the smell of rose water. Yes, I do. And while we were in the 25-day skincare challenge, I had gone to Whole Foods mm -hmm. to get rose water, and it had sold out. Apparently, the people who were watching you had went there and bought the rose water out. <laughs> However, since the challenge has been over, they had the rose water there, so I got it, and I started using it. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I started breaking out. I started having, um, uh, you know, I can notice it back here. I can feel the pimples that are coming up. I can see a little, you know, little bumps that are coming. I'm like, what is happening? I didn't know if it was the the orange juice. Like you said, if it's not good to eat, maybe it's not good for your skin either. So I didn't know if maybe it was the orange juice that I had put in the serum or if, but hold on, hold on, Miss Chi Chi, hold on. <laughs> because it just so happened, was it yesterday I was sitting and listening to one of your shows. And somebody said something about rose water. And you said, okay, well now there are two kinds of rose water. Mm -hmm. There's one kind that you use for baking. Mm -hmm. Don't use that on your skin. <laughs> the essence, yep. And so, yes, Miss Chi Chi. 
<laughs> and so I got out my little bottle of rose water and I read the back. <laughs> And on the back, I get my glasses because I can't see without my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and on the back, it says water and natural rose flavor. <laughs> That's the bacon. <laughs> so now the conclusion I am now coming to is that it's the rose water that's got me broken out. That one is for the flavoring for cakes and pies and cookies, which actually smell different from the rose water itself. It still smells good. Like I still like I'll spray it, you know, but now I know not to use it on my face. But my question is, where do you I have two questions. Mm -hmm. One question is, where do you find the rose water that you can use on your skin? You can get that as um, you could probably find it in. um the old school also, but you have to look in the cosmetic section. In the cosmetics. Yeah. I am so happy we're having this conversation. Yeah. Are so you happy. It probably costs more over there in the cosmetic section. And it's already <laughs> made it on Amazon and it's going to say for skin, skin care. Oh, it will say that? Okay. With that, like, you know, on your face and stuff like that, it's going to mention that. But the one okay. is going to always use the word essence and flavoring. Once you see flavoring, that's uh -huh. the word, then you definitely know that that one is for cooking. Okay, so look in the cosmetics section yeah. and it should say essence. No, essence is the one you have for cooking. It's going to say for skin, refreshing the skin, refreshes the skin. It's going to say something good for you, you know. Okay. It's just going to say that. And you, if, if, if in doubt, you just go in the description and it shouldn't mm -hmm. say flavor. It won't, so it just should not say flavor. But you said it shouldn't say essence either. No, no, it's not going to say essence, no. Okay. Essence, one that mention essence and flavor, that is for the cooking. Okay, okay. Um, I did buy some roses. My roses are so pretty. Mm -hmm. They're pretty, but they stink. I don't know why these roses stink. I don't know about the stinky roses. I've never had that experience. But I do remember you saying... Don't use those to make your own rose water. Because they're sprayed. Right. Don't use the ones out of the grocery store. So I just kind of wanted to confirm that. Okay. I, I've complained. I've told you everything. Those are the questions. I, oh, oh, oh. I have one more question I really need answered. So remember we made that avocado mask, I think it was, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Today I opened an avocado and... Part of it was hard. Mm. So I'm wondering, can I use this? Like, so this was my idea. Mm -hmm. So what I did here it is, I said, this is the hard part of the avocado. So I thought, oh, well, save it because maybe you can scoop it out, chop it up, add some, like I have avocado oil too. So I figured, or either I could do grapeseed oil and blend it with an oil and then I can use it for my skin. Can I do that? Yes, you can. Okay. okay and good. I'm explain that hard part for you. Huh? That's because the reason why it's hard, they pick them green for, for um, exporting. Right. So that part is like, they're not like fully mature. Some yeah. stuff is going to ride faster than some. But right. the hard part is very much good. It's still okay. 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 Especially if you're like us that don't have the tree in the backyard. Right. <laughs> yeah. Very much good, yes. Okay, now now to my skincare routine. That's the, the question that you asked me initially. I just had to get all of that out because the breakout was tripping me out. I was like, wait a minute, whoa. All right, so then what I do for my skincare routine, I talked about the scrub that I use. Mm -hmm. um, I talked about the um, toner. I either use the green tea or the aloe vera. No longer will I use the rose water. Okay. <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless I manage, unless I go to the cosmetic section and find it where it says it is for my skin. Um, after I use the, after I cleanse and I use a toner, then I do a serum. And that's the serum that I, that I shared with you. This one has that orange um, in it. Um, uh, I'm going to, I'm not going to use this because you said if it's not good to eat, it's not good for your skin. So I'm going to let that go and make another batch. Then after I do that, I typically, um, I love coconut oil. I love how coconut 
oil. I love how smooth it is, how it just seems like it just melts right into your skin. It's not greasy. So usually that's what I was using, coconut oil um, as my uh, moisturizer. And then I would always add a little bit. There it is. Okay. Vitamin. Yeah. <laughs> Vitamin E to it. Um, but I got an idea because my education on Chi Chi Beauty, <laughs> where you said that avocado has vitamins A, C, and E in it. So I was like, let's upgrade. Okay. So that's why I got the avocado oil. And so now I do that. And I don't know if adding the vitamin E to it is now overkill, but. No, you still can add a little vitamin E. Huh? You still can add a drop of vitamin E if you so choose. Um, but the honest truth is one of my favorite oil, especially anti-aging, is the avocado oil. Because yeah. everything in it. The yeah. A, C, E, the electrolytes, and it also have um, the omega. It, you just can't go wrong with that avocado. Mm -hmm. Um, this vitamin E oil has a little fragrance to it. Is cause could that be a problem? I guess I'm having all of these questions now because of the breakout that I'm having. Brilliant. Huh? Turn it around. So that's a be vitamin C plus something. Is vitamin E. Oh, you say you look at the ingredients. Is that what you're asking me? Oh yeah. This says Carthamus Tinctorius. But they said that means safflower seed oil. Then it says Vitus vinifera, but they say that means grapeseed oil. Then it says tacopherol acetate, but they say that means vitamin E acetate. Mm -hmm. Then it says fragrance, and they say that it's natural. They had fragrance to it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, they do. And this is something that you just touched on. A lot of people are not aware that um, safflower, and um, one of the reasons why I don't talk much about safflower on the channel mm -hmm. is because it's good for other things, which we probably will take it over on our Zoom. But vitamin E, a lot of the vitamin E that you're going to get once they use natural, they mm -hmm. take it from the safflower oil. Okay. So that is why you have safflower there, which is probably the main oil in it. So if you have safflower oil, uh -huh. you can use it just like vitamin E. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, uh -huh. I personally use um, safflower oil and I always have it in um, my kitchen, but we'll talk about it another time. Okay. But definitely for the skin, you can use it as a vitamin E and you can actually get it in the store. Like, you know, the little bottle of vitamin E that we tend to buy. That's why it's good to read because also you notice that it also have, they had grapeseed oil to it. Yeah. That is to um, kind of dilute the safflower oil a little bit. And grapeseed oil also is rich in vitamin E. Okay. So okay. Not aware of is that vitamin E is made up of a combination of oil, although they do have the synthetic one also. So it's always good to read. Like you read, now you know there's a flower in it. So if you don't have vitamin E oil, you have the grapeseed oil. I do have that actually. You're good to go. If something called for vitamin E oil, use the safflower or you use the grapeseed oil because you know it still have it's rich in vitamin E. Okay, okay. Yeah, I actually use I love um, that, that grapeseed oil. You know, I'm gonna tell you. A uh, years ago, I went to some um, uh, conference or or um, festival or something, and I bought this. It was a scrub, and it had vitamin. I looked at the ingredients because it was a natural scrub and it had um, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, and sugar. Mm -hmm. And maybe some kind of like maybe vanilla to, or something. Okay. And when I used that on my skin, my skin felt just silky smooth. I was like, I love this. What is this stuff in here? And it was the grapeseed oil that made the difference. That grapeseed oil is the bomb.com. Yes, ma'am. Light oil, not clogged before, is good for most skin type and it's very friendly to mix with your other oil. So, mm -hmm. definitely good. So, last thing, last couple of things. So, I after uh, I also use a, um, uh, this is called an eye cream. Mm -hmm. um, this one I made uh, with, um, what is it? I think it was 
I think it was petroleum jelly, vitamin E, and parsley juice. Mm -hmm. So, uh huh. So I use that. I do pat, 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 pat. It took a while. Listen, it took a minute for me to stop smacking myself in the eye. I was like, no. <laughs> I had to learn to have a light touch. A light touch, yes. Mm -hmm. Just as a tip for those people. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it takes a little getting used to it. It's like stuff. Pam, 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 pam. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> um, and then the last thing is I use a um I use a uh an eye mask. I love this eye mask. It's um just parsley juice and cucumber juice. Oh yeah. And I put it on my little oh well, I already think I already told you all that. Well, at least most people probably weren't here. But I use the little ovals and put it on there for a half hour. And so I have a new routine um, where I will I take an Epsom salts bath. And the Epsom salts has a fragrance to it. I, I don't know, lemon something. And then put the eye mask. The, the, and they're cold. They're cold, Miss Che Che. Look at the on my eyes. And that thing is heavenly. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Listen, yes. ladies, take care of yourself. Oh, yes, yes. Actually make you feel so good about yourself. Like, mm -hmm. really, really good. Yeah. So I think that's it. I think that's it. That's all I have. All right. Thank you. And we're going to bring you back on later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. All right. So we have Cecilia. And um, are you ready for us, Cecilia? All right. So we're going to bring Cecilia on, guys. And here comes Cecilia. Hello, Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. How is everyone doing? We're doing well. Hi, Chi Chi. Hello. So, my daily skin routine starts with my cleanser in the mornings. And what I do is to, as soon as I wake up, I put my cleanser on, let it sit there like for 30 to 45 minutes. And then I wash it off in the shower. While doing that in the shower, I get my massages in, facial massages in. Right. And then I do my toner. So my toner, if everyone can see it, well, I am just preparing a, a, my, a batch to, to renew this. I'm on this for about six days. Mm -hmm. But it is um, green tea infused with um rice water all right and, yes and with aloe vera cucumber juice ooh, ooh. and also some rose water so that's, that's my good. toner awesome that is good that is real good. awesome very very good toner right so this is my toner and i refrigerate it so i just take it out and put cotton pad and I'm good to go. So after that, Chi Chi, your orange peel powder um, serum turn moisturizer. <laughs> <laughs> so I got it here, girl. So I have one for the serum and one for the moisturizer. So <laughs> yes. So the 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 serum is actually the orange peel infused with the green tea bag and i let that sit for about four days to right. infuse. yes girl <laughs> and i strained that off and i added my aloe vera real aloe vera right. I, have, I have quite a few plants in the back of my yard so oh, wow i'm so jealous <laughs> <use them. laughs> right and i ha added some rose water so that is the serum and then i added three oils three of my favorite oils and i just made enough batch to turn it into moisturizer girl where to go <laughs> i did avocado oil i did vitamin e and i also did the pomegranate oil all right that's yes the girl <laughs> so that's my <laughs> daily routine and i'm telling you chi chi this is awesome my face it turned it you you you, you, you suddenly see the difference yeah. with with the with, with with the orange peel 
and the the green tea very very good i love it so um that's my daily routine i'm now doing my um ice water um thing. Wow, you're bringing that up again yes. <laughs> <laughs> like two times a week now i'm doing my ice water um, <laughs> dive in yes in the mornings before i go out right after i cleanse i put my face and do my ice water and then i do my serum and moisturizer okay so, Look at the um, i'm sorry to cut you i have a comment for you can you see the screen oh yes <laughs> oh no <laughs> you should be just to yourself my date is my, 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 day day is my job Chichi <laughs> I signed in the comments and I couldn't resist so let me move on <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you Jason thank you so I, um, apart from that, I do my regular steaming three times a week. I do my steaming. I also do a scrub three times a week. And I also do a mask three times a week. So I, I, since recently, I've sent Chichi some before and after pictures. I'm telling you, awesome. My, my um, spots are getting very, very um, Light. lighter and my laugh lines are just disappearing just awesome it's really good thank you chi chi thank you so much claudia and thank you for coming on all right all right we're going to bring you back in a few if you have questions for claudia guys you can cecilia <laughs> and i'm sorry i keep saying claudia because of this is cecilia um <laughs> if you have questions for cecilia guys go ahead and comment and we'll bring her back in a few. All right, so Jill, are you ready? Let me see. Um, it's very difficult to have you on speaking without um, showing. Let me see what I have here. Um, no, okay, Jill, if, you're, if you wanna get on, let me see you come interview. Jill? All right, so um, when you're ready, let me know, Jill, when you're ready. Okay, so you're actually in the chat. So Jill, um, do you wanna be on? All right, so you're. who are you giving a thumbs up, me or Jason? Because I cannot see you on my camera. Comment in the comment section, Jill, if you're ready to be on. All right, so we're gonna wait a few minutes on um, Jill. Okay, let me see. Um, okay, you do nothing. You just come in the focus in the on the camera, and we are gonna just. I'm gonna pull you on, so you need to do nothing. You ready? All right, let's go. So we're gonna bring Jill on. Oh, you're dark. Good night. Do we have some light? Here. All right, you're good. All right, go ahead and share your skincare routine. Well, I steam and then I apply moisturizer and cream mm -hmm. and oil. Mm -hmm. And I do that throughout the day. Okay. Now I do creams and oils throughout the day. How often do you steam? About two to three times a week okay and how long do you steam for well the time you say three minutes mm -hmm. however the steamer that i have has a timer of like 10 minutes oh really okay so um yes maybe your steamer go for about 10 minutes that means it does not push out a lot of steam it just no, I make it sure that my i make sure that my skin is not irritated okay and um what's your favorite um facial mask i have an anti-aging mask mm -hmm. and i have a clay mask that i have on hold in the cabinet and I, i'll pull that out one day mm -hmm. unfortunately our water system here in arizona is not the best and i'm reluctant to put too much water on my face mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have and, anything to say about that? 
I know that Arizona weather can be brutal. It could be like really, really um, hot. So well, what? Summers are brutal, but now the days are about seventy to ninety degrees. Do you use Perfect. rose water? Every day. And you keep it in the refrigerator? Yes. So to cool you down, you could actually spray it. If you have it like in a bottle with a spray, you could, when the time gets really, really warm, you could just um, spray it cool on your face. Okay. That really will help. And even the green tea can work like the rose water also. Or you can mix the two together and just keep yeah, it. Yeah, I think a lot of matcha. And okay, with the matcha, that is good too. And then you just spritz it on your face, just lightly spritz it on your face, and that will help to cool your skin down tremendously. Thank you. Okay. What else do you want to tell us today? Um, I'm not looking my best. I was prepared to come on the other day, but Hopefully, why I'll be. Why don't you let us be the judge of that? Okay. Uh, hopefully, I'll be more presentable next time. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna push. You make a first attempt. So, little baby step, <laughs> baby step, and we'll definitely we'll get you to show us your skin. I can. Um, can I you see me now? We get. I'm, I'm not the best at um these devices can you see me now i can barely see you but before you you know you took the light off i could see you but they couldn't see you should i i'll go in the light again okay getting to here all right there you go so what are you saying is going on with your skin oh your light is strong what, are, what is going on with your skin? Well, the, the other day I had a zit, mm -hmm. but I've been cleaning it, and it seems to me much less today. Mm -hmm. and, and the blackheads are gone today. Okay, that's good. So, but I'm looking at you, and uh, I know your lighting on your camera is a little pixelized. So those of you who are watching, just so you know, um, Jill camera is highly pixelized and also the I'm light. Sorry, I'm not a computer geek. Yeah. But you look amazing to me. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. And your under eyes, what do you do for those? I use under eye cream and cucumber cream mm -hmm. and eye gel. Mm hmm and you have lips too. Wait, what about my lips? I don't do a whole lot on the lips. Your lips is looking really, really good. <laughs> Thank you. I know I too, it's very obvious. Like really, really good. Like you actually got some fillers done there. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I know I use some chapstick. Oh. And some beeswax. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're doing right. beeswax. One of them, it's rose uh, petal. Mm -hmm. Or there's rose petal in the chapstick. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, what's your favorite thing to do to your skin? I would say steaming is the easiest. And what's but, that? Uh, Go ahead. But I also use a lot of creams. And I try to minimize the laugh lines. All right. But let me tell you something. Your laugh lines are basically a no-show. Well, that's very kind of you. That's good to you. And let me see if, um, who is commenting. Um, your laugh lines is amazing, to be honest. Oh, thank you. I'm nearly 54 years old. Your laugh line is no, that means you are like constantly doing your your facial massages all throughout the day. Okay, you look really good. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I'm slowly gonna just drag you out of being shy to be on the show. <laughs> so, 
So we definitely got to do Whatever you did, it worked today. Okay, thank you for that. And in case you're just joining, Jill is one of my faithful subscribers that has been here forever, like from day one. Day one, okay? So I'm just happy to see you on the live and feel free to come whenever you want. Thank okay? you for that and thank you for your help. You are welcome. All right, we're going to take you off and we'll bring you back later on. If you all have Christian for Jill, guys, go ahead and comment right now. All right, guys, so there we have our panel, Claudia, Margaret, Jawa, Cecilia, and Jill. And um, let's see if we have some questions. And we have a lot of a nice comment for you, um, Jill. So go ahead and read the comment. And... Um, if you're just joining, we are just doing our regular pop-up show. We are talking to our subscribers, and you can see. So, um, Margaret, is the matcha powder is, is in different color? I'm seeing a product by the name in the El Food store, but with different color. The matcha powder have to be green. Always, no, let me take that back, because I'll get back to you on that, because I was seeing something recently. I'll get back to you on that, but the common one is in green. I just remember I was reading something recently where you might find it in a different color, but I'm definitely going to get back to you on that, Margaret. Okay. All right. So um, um, we have a lot of compliment for you, um, Jill, and we are just happy to have you on the live. And if any one of you out there, especially my OGs, that is a little shy, Come on in. We're reeling you in. Come on in. Come on in. I love to, to chit chat with you all. So don't be shy. Just come on. Eventually, you're going to get it and you're going to feel a part of the life. And we like you to be comfortable. Okay. So someone is talking about chocolate matcha. Matcha turn red. Okay. So. All right, so I'm going to do the reading and come back and share with you all. All right, guys, so tonight we were we are talking about skincare. I promise that I'll do the nighttime routine and the daytime routine. One thing I want you all to know that the nighttime routine is a little different from the daytime routine. Your daytime skincare routine and layering products on your skin should be all about protecting your skin. You're going out in the environment. You're going out in the sun and you need to protect your skin. Therefore, in the daytime, we encourage you to lay the products on and definitely use that SPF, all right? You definitely need that you're protecting your skin. However, when it comes on to nighttime, what you are doing is repairing the skin. You protect the skin in the daytime, you repair the skin at night. And at night, that is when you're using your anti-aging products you're spot treating the skin you're making sure you get your retinol for those of you who are using retinol your vitamin c your bacuchial oil all of those you are packing on on the skin at night because you are repairing so once you know that once you have that in mind you will see the difference in the nighttime skincare routine and the daytime skincare routine the products stay longer on your skin at night you go to sleep with it, you're more relaxed, you give the products more time to work on the skin. The daytime, you apply the products, you out there, all kind of thing from the environment is falling on your face, wind is eating you there, dirt is flying around, all of that is going on. So what you do, you protect the skin by layering your daytime product and make sure you protect your skin from the sun. We definitely will talk more about that, but I can see that my time, is uh, going 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 cecilia teaching my new addition is in the day is the sunscreen spf 85 cream definitely definitely do that and i promise you guys that i will do another show where i go in details about sunscreen just a little more especially for my new um subscribers now we have um Margaret, I rub ice on my face instead. The ice challenge was so funny. I tried but couldn't all maybe try again. All right, guys. One of the most requested videos. All right, so collagen at night time, right? Yes. Um, it's good to use your collagen boots in. Um, 
moisturizer or remedies on your face at night that it could stay on your face a little longer however they do have some collagen boots in um cream that you can use in the daytime but definitely pack, in a, pack it on at night so we have um my skin is irritated i'm using my ski petrol sunblock that mostly zinc and maybe you're using way 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 too much okay a little goes a long way and remember you're not putting your sunscreen directly our sunblock directly on your face is going on top of everything that you put on your face okay some people think that because you know it's protecting the skin it should go directly on the skin if you're using a facial moisturizer use your moisturizer first before you apply your sunscreen or just get a moisturizer that already have the sunscreen but if not you put it on top okay never directly on the skin very very good question and um Chichi, you probably show a picture of the shy one so they will not have to speak all right no um it's best for them to speak if, the, if they're shy and they don't want to show their face then we definitely will let them speak but then a picture but guess what we are here and it's it's all fun and game you're gonna see when jill come back on the next time it's gonna be a different jill <laughs> so i just i know that i know people are just gonna slowly come out of their shell but and this i do not think that we could have them speaking right for this system that i'm using we cannot have people speaking without showing who they are so that is why we definitely have to have there's nothing in it to help us to like you know just let the person come on and and um and don't show the face unlike some other platform where you can actually like on zoom where you could just not show your face and still speak all right so um we do have to see the skin all right so we have someone talking about matcha bad matcha will be a dull green some are even army green others are downright yellowish these colors are a bad sign indeed so here you go and then we have um what i research about the matcha powder quality matcha should be bright 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 green electric green and yes that's that is the way it should look almost like a neon shocking green that's what it's supposed to look like but in my journey using matchers because i do use a lot of matcha and uh, can i say this all right yeah i could say i could say this i actually um was introduced to matcha um in japan and you know they have like the best matcha powder you can think of and to me their matcha is a little darker than what we get here in america america matcha is a little bit lighter so there's some little difference but in terms of like with the production and all of that and the importing and exporting my little knowledge is that it could be diluted anyway anyway but yes <laughs> let me let me let me let me let me say that i see a variety of shades of matcha but the one that i was introduced to and i actually brought home a, a good bit they are a little bit darker than the matcha powder that i get here however they are not dark green okay all right but i'm definitely gonna read but somewhere i saw something about red matcha i think i came across something recently and for some reason i didn't go back to the article and that is the reason why i decided that i'm gonna actually go back to the drawing board and see because i it crossed somewhere in my path that there unless it's something new they're coming out with all right so um let's see who is here um it's the skin care platform thank you for showing up jill definitely and that's also a good comment um just what i need <laughs> all right all right let me let me let me leave some of these a uh, comment all right so guys if you're just joining this is our pop-up show you not think it's pop-up show but it is a pop-up show and i personally miss you guys and that is the honest truth it's like oh day like so now you see me trying to uh, today's the first day i'm like really back in office working since you know my little one month jury duty <laughs> yeah. i'm telling you guys that thing was really 
I enjoy doing it. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy doing it. But juggling that every day, Monday to Friday, and still trying to get my personal work done, it was really K-A. <laughs> Can I say K-A if anyone know what I'm talking about? The kick word with the A that come after. Yeah, but um, yeah, I was out. And over the weekend, I was like really tired, like really, really tired. That's why we didn't post video. Some of you might not notice that we didn't post video on Saturday because I was just tired. But um, I'm happy of getting back my energy and I'm glad to be back doing what I normally do and get my work done in a timely manner. All right, guys. So let's bring on our panel and we want you all to wrap up the show. Tomorrow is a show show. Well, tonight is a show show. <laughs> it's a part of the show tomorrow. It's a show show. However, on Thursday, we decided that every Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern, that is when we're going to come on and have the extension to the 25 day skincare challenge. So, Thursday is going to be, you know, the upkeep, how you're going with the challenge. If you're just starting, we could go through some of the old videos and what we talk about, and also to make sure. And this was highly requested from the last channel that I didn't, you know, really take up on it, where, you know, people still need to keep in touch and know that they're keeping on. On the skincare journey so we decided that Thursday night is gonna be that any night that I cannot make it for that Thursday night then I will definitely will all send an email to say I'm not gonna be on tonight but it's you know it's getting cold so and the you girl have nowhere going maybe that's why I was enjoying the jury duty because I didn't get a chance to put my clothes on to go anywhere for a whole year and a half. And this was like, oh my goodness, I can finally go somewhere, like get dressed and go somewhere and sit and, you know, and talk with other people. So that's part of it I like. Um, and you all know that COVID had us all working from home and, and not going anywhere. All right. So that is that announcement. The Zoom is... 29th of October. If you want to be a part of the Zoom, ladies and gentlemen, send your information to chichibeauty at gmail.com. On a Tuesday, we are going to have not a pop-up show, but a show show. And on that Tuesday show, 7 p.m., just this time, we are going to talk about topics like what we talk about today. However, I am going to try to talk about things that might not be the norm that we normally talk about. Let's say, for instance, we could dive deeper into understanding how to read labels. We could dive deeper into certain products. Let's say castor oil. We all know about castor oil. We could dive deeper into it and talk about it, what is good for and other benefits of castor oil. We could, you know, so that show on the Tuesday is going to be like that. And I'm also still going to take question and have, you know, the panel and, you know, newbies and oldies coming on and we just share our Tuesday night. And if you have a burning, you know, a thing like, let's say it's shea butter, we could come on, we could talk about the different type of shea butter and stuff like that. That is how we want the Tuesday night show to be just more educational. And, you know, someone was asking about the Camu Camu oil earlier, stuff like that. We come on and we talk about stuff that we don't use or we don't, is not really um, popular with everyone. So that's going to be the Tuesday night show. And any night that I cannot make it again, I definitely will let you guys know the Tuesday night show is it's not going to be on. Now, this is not going to go on forever, okay? We're going to be doing this the month of November, okay? The month of November, because your girl want to do Vlogmas again, okay? It's not going to be, well, we'll figure out how Vlogmas is going to go, but we definitely want to do Vlogmas because it's like the highlight of the channel, so we're going to be doing Vlogmas, and we'll figure out what we're going to do. We might not, we're not going to do a 25 days skincare challenge, but we're going to do a 25 days of Vlogmas, and hopefully the fact that now we have guests and so on, we're going to bring on guests. We'll talk about other things, not necessarily about skincare. We could talk about the holidays and baking cakes and, you know, stuff like that, all within the YouTube guide Line. So that is going to be for December, but for the end of October to November, we'll have our Tuesday, our um, Thursday, and our regular Sunday chit chat. 
No, any evening that I am home and I feel like I miss you guys so much and I want to do the pop-up like we do this evening, then we'll announce it pretty early for you to be on. All right, guys. So let's bring on our panel. Guys, are you ready? How many are you on? Um, well, let me put. All right. Margaret, you're ready? <laughs> Before you go, I have a question. You're ready? We're putting on. Uh, which one of these working? Let's see. We still will have you there like that. Okay. How many of you um, on the panel like to dance? Like to what? Like to dance. Yes. <laughs> We're going to have a dance off? <laughs> yes. Why do we should? Long mask. <laughs> 25 days of dancing. Yes. I actually <laughs> like to dance. I'm not really that good at it. For, for Jamaican, I'm not that good at it. <laughs> I get something or two, but I'm always dancing, and that's maybe something you guys don't know about me. I really like to dance. So, like, what, Mary, you doing, Mary? Huh? what, what was that, Jill? I learned how to dance at Arthur Murray Dance School. Oh! oh. Ooh. Cool. You could show us a thing or two, actually. I've always wanted to go there. I, to, I don't know if I can now. I love to dance. Maybe you could um, teach us a thing or two, Jill. <laughs> okay. I really like to dance. And like, let's say I'm doing dinner. My highlight is dinner. And when I'm done, that's when I have time, guys. Don't, make it, I don't think it's all the time. I don't have that kind of quality time. But yeah, like when I'm done with dinner, I always like my music on. And then I would just... Yeah. Like, from the dining room, go in the living room, and do my little dance. I, it makes me happy. Probably with a glass of something. <laughs> something that I'm not going to say, right? <laughs> so, go with a glass of something, but I love to dance. Anyway, I just. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Go ahead. Um, with the, the measuring spoons that you use, I realize that your, your measuring spoons are deep. The measuring spoons I have have a like a flat or a flat top. Does it make a difference when you are measuring the ingredients to use? Because mine does not. From when I like, let's say I'm using rice flour. Mm -hmm. When you use the rice flour compared to when I take up my rice flour, yours look more like if it's double compared to what I'm using. Okay. It's, Does it's, it make a difference? No, it don't make a difference. A, tea, a teaspoon is a teaspoon, regardless of the shape. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's shape a little different, but you also have to remember when it comes on the camera, it tend to be, look much bigger than it really is. If I'm making sense, like things seem you know, larger than they appear. Yes, yes. The camera give it a, a more fuller look. I'm talking about the quantity. No, the quantity is gonna be the same. Okay. Oh, I'm learning something. What did you say, Joe? The Australian teaspoon is larger. He's saying that the Australian teaspoon is larger. Yeah. Okay. So it depends. Oh. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to look that up, but for some reason, I believe. And is it in um is it because of the the the, the metric and the standard? I'm not sure, maybe. But we definitely will um, will we'll, 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 we'll look that up because um, measurements really okay. One of the reasons why they cut out only America that is still using Imperial, everywhere else is using metric. And ever since they brought in metric, if we go to the micro milligram, you, you understand what I'm saying? So when I was growing up, it's uh, two teaspoons. If anyone know what I'm saying, come in. Two teaspoons make one tablespoon. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Two yeah. teaspoons. And that is because the metric system is different because it could measure to the the micro milli 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 milli. So maybe <coughs> the reason why the Australian because it's all metric. But we're definitely gonna look into it because before I was like 
teaspoon is a teaspoon, but I learned different that the imperial is not as exact and to a point as the metric system. So that is why they cut it out. So we'll definitely will look into that. So, okay, so Deborah is saying about the three teaspoons, but that is why I explained to you before, and you can actually go back and do the research, but now it's three teaspoons, and that's because they catch up with the metric system, and they change it to match the milligram, the micro, micro. You could go to the tiniest, 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 tiniest. Okay? All right. So, yes, I'm old school, so I know. <laughs> I know a lot of things. I know about pint and quart. Anyway, <laughs> let's um, let's uh, move on. See, see how they're correcting me on this? Like, oh, three teaspoons equal one tablespoon. Oh, I thought you said three teaspoons. Yeah, three teaspoons. But when I was a child, it was two. Two teaspoons equal one tablespoon. Margaret, do you know anything about what I'm talking about? Yeah. And maybe you guys could go right back and do the research, but yeah, until now is three teaspoon meat, one tablespoon. All right, all right. So that is for another night. <laughs> that how many of you like maths? <laughs> how many of you like maths? Um, if you do, the metric system is definitely different. Yes, if someone is agreeing with me right here, and Jean is agreeing with me, so. You, it's way back, way back, way back, way back. All right, guys. So let me wrap this up because we don't want to start. And some of you are looking like, what? <laughs> old school and old teaching. All right. So, and there's a lot of other things that is changed too, but we're, we're not going to do it on this platform. All right, guys. So this is my time. My time is up. And I have um, a question. Can I ask yes. a question? Yes. So, um, what do I do? I told you my face was breaking out. And when I've heard you talk about breakouts in the past, you connected it to dirt and oil in your skin. But since mine is due to this newfangled rose water that, I, that I've been using, what do I do? Okay, so fragrance actually play a role in breaking out some people's skin, especially if your skin is sensitive. Your skin must be we, we dissect your ingredient panel. Mm -hmm. And that's also why, if you notice, most skincare um, products these days don't have fragrance to it. Because it used to be the culprit in a lot of like, facial moisturizer and stuff like that. But okay. It, you get rid of the fragrance. They put the fragrance. And remember, it said on yours is um, added flavor. Mm -hmm. That is making this flavor that is going into um, the rose water. It might yeah. be something that is skin friendly. No, that is what it is. That flavor that's not skin. It's not friendly to my skin. And you know what else? I'm not sure, but um, I re since we read that there's fragrance in this vitamin E oil, I'm thinking I'm gonna replace it with grapeseed oil. Because I do have sensitive skin, which is why I've never really had a skincare routine outside of just using plain water on my face. But what do I do now is what I'm trying to figure out about the breakout. Stop using what you're using and just continue your, your regular skincare routine. And I just let it clear up on its own. Clear up by itself. Okay. Tonight, I promise I'm going to come on and I'm going to talk about a lot of like, <coughs> things, for instance, um, um, when they start this natural skincare movement, it's not only, and a lot of people are not aware of this, that it's not only the synthetic ingredients that is, was a factor, fragrance was also right there up on the list that was exempt from most skincare products. You guys could actually go ahead and research it yourself. Um, I have another question. So I, what I started doing, you know, I juice, um, in the morning sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I have orange juice. Mm -hmm. And they're not always organic oranges. But what I started doing is I started um, peeling the orange before I, just like taking a um, potato peeler and just peeling the skin of the orange. And I took your suggestion, just take those peels and put them in a brown paper bag. I've been storing them in the refrigerator. Does it make a difference if they stored in the refrigerator or on the outside or 
make a huge difference. If you store them in the refrigerator, they're going to get mold. They're not going to um, last more than the seven days, just like your regular beauty products that you make and put in the refrigerator. Okay. Them so, don't put them, so don't put them in the refrigerator. Leave yeah. it like on the counter or something. Like countertop, earn them on your kitchen, like little books on the kitchen or just put it in the brown paper pot, close it, put it in the pantry. Okay. Okay. Um, so the next question with that is because they aren't organic oranges, I'm assuming they've been sprayed with some kind of pesticide. Yes. Vinegar. Uh, is what uh, you say? Vinegar. Wash them in vinegar. In vinegar. Okay. Wash them. Good as new. Just, um, Let's say a uh, quarter cup of vinegar to whatever good size bowl that you have in your kitchen, a gallon of water. So you just drop them in there. I sometimes just let them sit in there for a couple of minutes and then you go back and you take them out, you wash them off, rinse them, and they are good to go. Okay. okay. And um, so what about what about if I take that bag and like just let it sit on my um, balcony? Is that okay? Oh, that's perfect. You have okay. something there? Huh? You have sunlight out there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I do. Perfect. Because you're just, it's just dry, you're drying them. And that is. But, but when she, sorry, when, when Java is leaving the um, orange peel on the balcony, she doesn't have to put it in the brown paper bag. She just leave it on the tray. Just leave it on, a, on something. Just yeah, it. but I don't want like dirt and stuff to get yeah. on. <laughs> so it'll make the wind blow it away. So that's, that's what I'm thinking. There's all kind of stuff out there. You, you can okay. put it there if you go on and open it out. But you really don't have to. Once you put it in that brown paper bag, there's a lot of things that goes on with a brown paper bag. <laughs> so once you put it in that, put it in your pantry. When you go back, it's going to be dry. Because okay, so I don't they just put it in the pantry. Yeah, I'll talk another day about brown paper bag. But yeah, there's some to know and some don't. There's a lot of things that goes on with that brown paper bag. Okay. okay so so um, I wanted to just share one last thing. And that is that this um, my eye um, cream that I use, I also put in the um, the lap lines at night before mm -hmm. I go to bed. And I was having like a whole, like I have lip lines and, you know, I had some other stuff going on. So I put it on my face at night. I just wanted to share that for anybody else that might want to use that. And that is the way to go. You pack it on at night. Always, always <laughs> pack it on. And um, Key saying, um, does it matter if apple cider vinegar, plain vinegar, apple cider mm. is a total, you know, different ball game. So white vinegar is what we use, white vinegar. Okay, distilled vinegar. Yeah, very, very good question, um, yeah. Key. Oh, 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 I do have another um, something. So now, um, are you saying we're doing Zoom on Fridays starting on the 29th? Yes. And then are you saying, you, I heard you say something about Tuesdays. Tuesdays, we're going to have a show, more of an educational show where I try to learn things from you guys, like you discover a new oil or something like that. And we could talk about like like ingredients. We could talk about preservative, just stuff like that on a Tuesday night. And um, on a Thursday night, we're going to have our regular 25 days challenge, um, just keeping up, keeping up with you guys. That's like the community. Yes, yes. Follow up with the 25 days. That's thank you. Okay, and is it seven o'clock like now? Seven, seven like now, because I realize this is the time that most of you are available, so we'll do it at seven. But you definitely will get an email with it. Okay. Time and everything like that. That's it for my questions. Thank you very much. <laughs> Anyone else have anything to say? Do you guys have anything to say? No. All right. So you want us to say something? Because <laughs> we can think of something. Where did Margaret go? Come back. Margaret have to go because so we go over time. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's my time since you guys. It was nice having you on. I actually enjoyed tonight's show. Yeah. And, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And. Um, Definitely look for your look. Check your emails because that's where we're gonna reach out to you guys to let you all know what is going on. So be good to yourself. Hi, Claudia. I'm Hi, Cecilia. Claudia. And thank you for coming on, Jill. It was you know really good to see you. Thanks for you know the regular. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
and uh, be good. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. Bye, Bye, Bye Joe. Bye, 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 Bye,